kid. Seriously. Hey, Luke. Hey, what? Hey, Mark. Yeah? I saw a trailer, in fact... I saw two, but they were for the same thing, and it wasn't a movie trailer, it was a video game trailer. Tis the season, and one of the season's biggest gifts is the PS4 bundle with the Spider-Man video game. There was a final trailer, and a story trailer, and we're going to talk about the latter one. So before I get deep into my thoughts about the game so far, I wanted to ask each of you what you thought about the trailers. Mark, why don't you go first? Um, Okay, well... First impression was I hate the white spider on the costume. Uh, that really annoyed me um, and uh, was kind of distracting. That aside, it looked really great. Um, I loved the character redesigns of uh, like Scorpion and Rhino, um, Mr. Negative. Well, Mr. Negative wasn't really redesigned, but um, I thought it looked great. The action sequence of him falling and then having to climb back up through the rubble and fight the villains as he's doing it was really well done. It was really exciting. Um, it was very visually appealing and the graphics were great. I'm very interested in seeing, learning more about this. I don't know that I've actually played the game, but I'm kind of interested in, in finding out what the story of it is. So for our, our two dedicated listeners out there being uh, the lovely Mrs. Madrid and I don't know, probably one of Mark's cats. We, they, they probably know that I am not a video game guy. I don't have a video game system. I haven't owned a video game system in two decades. I don't know much about video games. When I think of video games, I think about um, the original Castlevania is what immediately <laughs> pops into my head or maybe Earthworm Jim or Battletoads. So to watch the graphics on these trailers of something, I like, I, if you would have told me this was just, a movie I was completely in. Like, it was really interesting. It's amazing the level that they're at. I'll be curious as we get in for you to talk about gameplay, Maya, because if the gameplay is even close to what I'm assuming these these action scenes are, the movie scenes that they show are, it, it blows my mind, like, how far we've come and how impressive it must be to, to be in these worlds. Because it looks like they've made a fully integrated Spider-Man world that you can be a part of, which is awesome. And I'm going to I'm going to let out my dirty little Spider-Man secret here and this is based on the animated show from the 90s, but my 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 favorite Spider-Man villain is is Dr. Octopus. Like I think he's awesome. He's amazing. He wasn't in this trailer, but he's got to be in the game somewhere. But my second favorite Spider-Man villain is the Scorpion, who I know everyone else hates, but I thought he was awesome in that show. So I was excited that he got a really central part it looked like it like i was the guy who was excited he was in spider-man homecoming and even though i knew he wasn't going to be the villain in the second spider-man i was like oh man if only one day he could bust out of prison and we could see him in that suit it would be the most amazing thing ever because i i can't even tell you why i like him but i think he's awesome and we need more scorpion in our spider-man worlds so for me this was i was insanely impressed when we were talking about doing a video game trailer I can't say that I was like super on board or excited because, again, it's not my world. I don't play them. I'm not overly interested in them. But holy shit, like I I watched the DC animated movies and their graphics aren't as good as what we're seeing in these video games. And sometimes, Maya, you know this, their stories aren't as compelling as what I saw just in some of these scenes from the Spider-Man video game. So to me, this looks awesome. So walk us through this. Well, I thought, just to talk about the trailers so far, I thought the trailers do a great job of summing up at least my experience of what the game is like so far. They look great, and they made me want to play it. And I think it's I think it's got a cool main villain, the Mr. Negative, because it's a guy from the comics that I don't know a lot about, and so a lot of it's going to be surprising for me. He's just got a really cool look. Um, and I thought they had a really cool climax of the trailer with MJ sort of, instead of her being thrown off of a building, it's her choosing to jump off the building, which I thought was a, was a cool little uh, nod to the character, kind of her evolving. And in this, in this uh, video game, she's more of like a reporter, um, and which is, which is a, probably a welcome change for how she was in the comic books. Uh, I haven't gotten that far in the game yet, but already it's become one of my top five favorite video games. The wandering around on this game is absolutely great. In fact, that's what I did all day today. 
Um, it has an in-game system that really forces you to explore each part of the city and each part of what they've done to create New York City. Uh, the game asks you to find these backpacks that you, like, webbed up eight years ago when you, or over the course of your eight-year career. Because in the game, you're 23, so you've been uh, Spider-Man for eight years. And over the course of the years, you, like, webbed up backpacks and lost all these backpacks, which is, like, a, a running joke from, uh, from the Amazing Spider-Man movie series. And so you have to, like go to parts around town and kind of see what they've done with the place. You also have to like take pictures of landmarks. So it's everything from like the empire state building to um, the, uh, the sanctum Santorum of Dr. Strange has like a lot of, you know, like Josie's bar is one of them in hell's kitchen. So I just got through the landmarks and the backpacks before really even starting the show. Uh, the result is a New York that is so realistic that I'm pretty sure I was able to find the street that Luke and I had dinner at in Little Italy when we were in New York. You get linked into the NYPD's police radios, so you're able to go and break up all these little criminal acts all throughout the game to gain experience and stuff, so you get your, like, punching fix. The gameplay is phenomenal. Any Spider-Man game needs to get the swinging right, and it's been sort of this upwards trajectory from that first Spider-Man game that came out with the PlayStation back when the original movies were out, um, they got the swinging right, and once you get used to the controls, it's just it's just absolutely phenomenal. So far, the story is pretty good. Uh, the game starts with Kingpin's empire crumbling under the weight of his malfeasance. because uh, he's fat. Sort of like, you just like you get right into it. Like his his empire is just crumbling, and so you like hop in and you're apprehending him. And there's explosions everywhere, but once you put him away, the remnants of his empire sort of. Uh, they start causing you trouble, like like the power vacuum that he, putting him away leaves uh, begins your begins your problems. Uh, meanwhile, you're working with Doctor Octavius um, as sort of like a grad assistant after, or not really a grad assistant, it's sort of your your first job after college after you decide not to be a teaching assistant. Um, so Doctor Octavius actually thinks that you're making uh, stuff for Spider Man. He's kind of confused. So he is the one who actually makes that white suit. Now, I don't like the white suit either. It does have some cool features as far as being like, it's more kind of like athletic and armored and stuff, but I either go with the Scarlet Spider suit or with uh, just the classic suit for um, uh, so far. My one gripe is there's not a Miles Morales version of the suit, and someday I'm hoping that they made that decision because someday he's going to get a video game of his own. But like I said, man, I'm Ben Riley for most of this game. Uh, rocking the Clone Saga and the Blue Hoodie. There are so many Easter eggs from all three generations of the movies, hints, callbacks, everything. It is so much fun. I love today. I was in Hell's Kitchen uh, for a couple of hours and saw a lot of Easter eggs for my guy, Matt Murdock. And overall, I can't recommend this game enough. It is a really, really fun game, especially for diehard Spider-Man fans. I've heard it called one of the best games of all time, and I'm so excited to actually get into the story now. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes, and I'll, I'll let you guys uh, let you guys know. How how many hours have you? Because you haven't even delved into the story. So, like, how many hours have you played just exploring? Um, I it was it was part of I had probably three day or three hours yesterday, and probably five or six today. Um, it breaks up the 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 island into just sections, and you can kind of like. You know, like you, you go and get the landmarks of the in, entire section. So I started at the bottom of the south in the financial district with like Wall Street and all that stuff and then moved my way upward. And so you've got basically, uh, you know, the landmarks, you've got the backpacks that you have to find. And then you have um, the uh, uh, landmarks, the backpacks, and then like the criminal acts that you have to kind of like do. So it, each section of the city, it really gets you to, to know each part of the city and takes a long time. So I think I'm nine hours in yet, but I'm more of like a completist. I really want to get, um, I'm almost to the Stark version of the suit from the Avengers movies. And so I kind of want to rock that one um, as I make my way through. But um, Scarlet Spider, I mean, I just love that suit. And it was one of the first ones you get. So I'm so happy. Okay. I'd just like to add a comment. Um, during the break, um, while we were switching topics and you know, people took their various you know, bathroom breaks or got new drinks, Maya, you and I were talking, and you asked me how it was that I had the f time to read the Dune books. And I would like to point out that you just said you've spent nine hours 
basically walking Spider-Man around New York City. So what? I think yes. you got your answer as to um, why it is I have the time to read and you don't. Man, I, I think uh, I think I think my time was better spent playing Spider-Man than reading. I mean, oh, that's that's how I feel, man. I've been loving it. This is the game too, right? Where um, when you're Spider-Man, you can just randomly throw up the the finger guns pointing at people, right? Yeah, you hit triangle, and like some people will interact with you, and like, <laughs> like everybody. <laughs> are you, okay? you seriously like you just like go you just like start pointing at people like hey what up like yeah, yeah. yeah. oh my <laughs> god reacts to you like there's there's people who are like super pissed off they hate Spider Man so they'll start talking trash to you and other people are like trying to take pictures of you and some people like you go up to you and like you can interact with them if you hit triangles so, like. There's one where you finger gun. There's one where you like do like a you're like you like work out like a handshake, like a like a high five oh handshake thing with them, and uh, it's it's great, man. It's just it's totally it's totally being Peter Parker. I love it. Thanks for listening to Kids Seriously. If you didn't completely hate us, feel free to hit like, subscribe, or tell a friend about the show. If you want to write to us and tell us how much we suck, or just ask a question, you can reach us at kidsseriouslyradio at gmail.com. Otherwise, hit us up on Twitter at kidsseriously. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.